I'd like to share with you what the Excel button is. So I will start from the end. So how many of you have heard of the blue button? One, two, three, four. So we, we try to copy the US here in a European way, in a creative and innovative way. And uh, we are creating the yellow button now, the Excel yellow button. <laughs> okay, so now how many of you know about the Excel button? Not yet. So the Excel button is, is having this idea that you have your mobile phone and you have all these apps with health data and you can click the yellow button and get your data, download your data. Very simple, in a machine readable format, not PDF, something that you can process later, right? And the question to you, and maybe in the next seven minutes you can find a solution and we can discuss it, is what are you gonna do with that? You give patients or the next of kin the opportunity to download their data and share them with another app. So there is a download and an upload or a feed in. So you can feed the data like you feed your location in your Facebook app. You can feed it to another app for a period of time. Is there a business opportunity in that? That's the question to you and that's a point of discussion. Is there a way to make money out of that? So this is the end of my presentation. So let me start now from the beginning. So many of you may have heard about the health data space, right? So this is uh, something that is a big aspiration of the European Commission to repeat the success of the GDPR. How many of you think that the GDPR was a success? You're moving around. So I would like to go back to the question that we said, and success is about expectations. You know, you shape expectations. You must, in a project, define what your expectations are. And there is expectations and there is ambition. And those two things may not be the same. So by shaping expectation, you make sure that you are in the 30%, right? But by having ambition, you can move the hearts of the people. You can make something big. So how is the risk managed? That's another question and another discussion, probably with some drinks. But let me go back to the European health data space, what this is about. The health data space is a healthcare ecosystem. It's all about data. How do we manage data for our primary use of data, like health and care, and for secondary use, like for research. But there is an underpinning movement behind that. For many years, people, all, everybody in the health sector has been data illiterate, except maybe the researchers. So this is very much about data literacy and having the data to do work. And as you see in the screen, this is about electronic health record systems medical devices, and high-risk AI. And for the first time, the Commission says, we will mandate standards. We will make sure that the electronic health record systems in the market will be able to handle these six categories of data, patient summaries, prescription dispensations, lab results, lab order, imaging reports, discharge reports. Wow. What would you do with that? And they say, and that's Article 8, and that's where this XR button is grounded at, they say that patients will be able to do a couple of things. Be able to access their data, get hold of the data, portability. It was first in GDPR, by the way. Uh, rectify their data. Rectify the data? Change the data in the health record? Wait a minute, is that what it says? Yes, it does. It's Article 8 something in the provisional text. You can also say that I don't want my data to be recorded in primary use. That's kind of interesting, right? You can also find out if somebody has access your data. That's like a logging component. Wow, who did what with my data? So this is a lot about the data literacy, right? So that's Article 8, and that's related to the XR button. 
And uh, I would like now to go to the next slide and tell you what our ambition is. Next slide. You're clicking the slide. I'm clicking the slides. <laughs> All right. So what is our ambition? Let me make this live a little bit. No. So everyone can share their health data in the format. That's the format of uh, the health data space, the health DS, uh, at the click of a button. How many of you think that this is something that can take us to the 30%? <laughs> Zero? <laughs> Not easy, eh? You're probably right. We have nine adoption sites, and we completed the business use case analysis. And none of these sites, except the one that's Catalonia, is able to get the data for the patients. In the best case, they talk about the PDF. The idea is to be able to view in the screen. And if you want to share your data, what would you do? That would actually define success and take us to the 30%. You can do a screen capture and send it to your doctor. That's the state of the art. Isn't that amazing? So we are saying that we would do that. So we will share the data with the button. You click the button. There is an action that you take with a yellow button. And there is an API, of course, and HL7 Fire and all that standards behind that. And there is a label also, which will say, yes, I can do that. And this can be tested. And that's an opportunity, perhaps. And what is, I think, novel is that we are sustainable. We, we define kind of success in the middle of the project. That's actually the first project that we do that. In the middle of the project, we will create a hub of six SDOs together with the Global Digital Health Partnership a representative. That's the Ministry of Health here in the Netherlands. And three industry associations, that uh, Digital Europe, MedTech uh, Europe, and UCROF. Uh, for those of you that do not know UCROF, but you probably know MedTech, well, UCROF is an association or a federation of CROs, those they are doing clinical trials. And our ambition is even bigger than the button, because we are saying, if we are going to make these standards, we should make a bridge, a bridge between clinical research, population health, and healthcare. So secondary and primary use will not be separate things, but they will be connected. And perhaps the patient or the family as a mediator will be able to play a special role in this. So next slide and the last one. So are you ready for that? <laughs> How many of you are ready for the XR button? I did a fairly good job. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Katrin. And